Well, hello and welcome to today's teaching, which is being presented to you by For Those Who Choose Incorporated. My name is Annette Cook, and I'm a co-founder and an instructor for those who choose. And teaching with me today are my husband, Elder Aaron Cook. Good day. And my daughter, Mrs. Anisha Tillman, who's Hello. also on our instructor team. Amen. Amen. So today we begin our final topic mm. in the series of the concept and characteristics of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And the component of our focus over the next four weeks will be the principle of kingdom culture. Wow. Ooh, wow. Amen. So what exactly do we mean or what are we referring to when we talk about culture? I'm glad you asked the question because I'm going to tell you. <laughs> culture means many different things, but they're related. Culture refers to behaviors and customary beliefs, characteristics of a particular particular social, ethnic, religious, or age group. Mm -hmm. um, culture can also mean the development or improvement of the mind by education or training. Mm. Culture is also a set of attitudes, shared attitudes, mm -hmm. values, goals, practices that characterize a company or corporation. Mm -hmm. Like uh -huh. you go into a particular company, you'll see their mission and their vision statement. Right. And they have a particular culture. They may say, you know, the employees have to dress this so way. Right. So it's a culture of a corporation. So culture is the integrated pattern of human knowledge, belief, and behavior that depends upon man's capacity for learning and transmitting knowledge to succeeding generations. I know that was a mouthful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. So culture basically is the sum total mm -hmm. of ways of living built up by a group of human beings and transmitted from one generation to another. I'm going to say that again. Culture, once again, is the sum total of ways of living built up by a group of human beings and transmitted from one generation to another. And that's the important piece, mm -hmm. Transfer, trans, transferred from one generation to another. Mm -hmm. God wants us to learn the culture of the country of heaven. Mm -hmm. yes. wow. And he wants us to pass his culture mm -hmm. from generation to generation. Right. And yeah. so that's what we have going on today. Mm -hmm. We're not learning the culture of God. Right. Mm -hmm. So we are perpetuating ignorance mm -hmm. yeah. from generation to, to generation, generation. Wow. so wow. once again god wants us to learn the culture of the country mm -hmm. of heaven mm -hmm. and pass it on from generation to generation mm -hmm. which is why jesus told his disciples to pray what thy yeah, kingdom, kingdom come, come. come thy will be done, will be done on, on earth, earth just, just like it is in heaven, heaven. Amen. yeah Amen. heaven god wants the culture of heaven mm -hmm. to be manifested in the earth wow. yes now We've said many, many, many times before, and we will say many, many times even going forward, mm -hmm. yeah. the Bible is about a kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a kingdom is the governing influence of a king, mm -hmm. amen? Yeah. Impacting a territory with his purpose, mm -hmm. his intent, mm -hmm. or his will, producing yeah. a citizenry of people mm -hmm. that reflect the culture, the nature, mm -hmm. the morals, mm -hmm. the integrity, yes. and the values of a king. Okay. Wow. Right. Right. As we've learned through these, you know, through this series on concepts and characteristics of kingdoms, all true kingdoms have the same qualities. Mm -hmm. right. Which is why Jesus used the word kingdom in his teaching. Right. It's, you know, we can't lose sight of that. Right. Why did he choose to use that term kingdom right. versus any other type of government? He right. used kingdom. Yeah. All true kingdoms have the same characteristics. All kingdoms manifest themselves through culture. Mm -hmm. Culture is stronger than politics. Mm. It is even more powerful than religion. Wow. Yeah. Amen. So in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28, it tells us that God gave you and I dominion, authority, or royal rulership over mm -hmm. the earth, right? right? We are his little kings. That's right. He put us here to manage this earth. He, we are his little kings in his territory mm -hmm. or 
Another term, we're going to talk more about this term colony or colonization today. Mm -hmm. So we are his little kings in his territory or heaven's colony, mm -hmm. which is here on earth. Mm -hmm. Right. This is why Jesus call, is called the king of kings. Yes. We are kings of this earth. Mm -hmm. He's our king. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is a corporate kingship. Yes. He is the king of kings, mm -hmm. and we are kings. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. So our assignment is to bring the dominion, rulership, and culture of heaven mm -hmm. on the earth. Yes. Amen. Our entire ministry is to bring the government of heaven mm -hmm. and the rulership of heaven on earth. Amen? Right. Amen. God wants us to learn the culture of heaven and incorporate his culture in our everyday, mm -hmm. li everyday lives. Everyday. Yeah. And then he wants us to pass it on from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. So we will stop perpetuating ignorance, ignorance from right. generation. Because, you know, the Bible tells you what? People destroyed by a lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. Amen. And that's where a lot of our destruction is coming from today because yeah. we don't know God's original concepts and precepts. Mm -hmm. We don't understand the culture, the nature, and the values. We don't know it, and we have not passed it on to, right. to our children. Right. Right. So the blind lead the blind do what? Fall into a ditch. Fall into a ditch. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, as we've said many times before, many times before, mm -hmm. All true kingdoms, like we just said, yes. contain the same characteristics yes. and components. Mm -hmm. That's right. And in this series, we have been reviewing concepts and principles of kingdoms that you should know and become familiar with. Mm -hmm. You must study and apply them to the message of the kingdom of God in heaven, taught by the king himself, Amen. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ. Amen. in order to fully understand his concepts, mm -hmm. which are his ideas, and his precepts or principles of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Understanding the mind of God about the kingdom will also help you to understand your purpose, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your potential, right. the power you have available to dominate in life, mm -hmm. and your position in life. Mm -hmm. So our primary objective for this series has been that you begin learning the original concepts and characteristics of kingdoms in general, so that as you begin to study the Bible, your understanding can be complete. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's right. so important it for your important. understanding to be complete. Yes. Because that's why ignorance is being perpetuated. Right. Because right. the understanding is not it's complete. Not exactly. So now as a reminder, the content of this series is taken from a book by the late, great Dr. Miles Monroe mm -hmm. called Kingdom Principles. If you haven't gotten it yet, you need to go get it. We encourage you to read this yes. book as well because the book goes into detailed research done by Dr. Miles, mm -hmm. which consists of 26 wow. different components wow. of kingdom. And that's a lot. And that's a lot. And that's we've been, this is week 26 for us talking about concepts right. and characteristics. Yeah. yeah. And we haven't yeah, gotten through all of the it. concepts right. in this book. And this nope. is actually the last one. As I mentioned in the beginning, this is, mm -hmm. the, this is the last one we're going to cover. Mm -hmm. But there are others. Yeah. So we strongly encourage you, you know, once we finish this month, we move into a completely different series and we're not going to be covering. But prayerfully, the, the concepts that we have laid, the foundation mm -hmm. we've laid mm -hmm. right. will continue to help you to increase your knowledge and understanding right. of what Jesus is talking about mm -hmm. when he talks about. The kingdom, the kingdom of God, God the amen. kingdom of heaven, the yes. kingdom of God, the kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven. Yes. You cannot look at it from a religious standpoint. No, you no, cannot. Because you can't receive it. Exactly. Exactly. So please, we encourage you to read it because, again, it goes into 26 different components of kingdoms. Amen. So we did not cover all 26 components in this series, mm -hmm. as we just said. Mm -hmm. But our goal has been to provide a good foundation to increase your knowledge and understanding of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So again, we want to remind you that the kingdom is God's greatest desire and passion for you and I. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we study the kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's all Jesus That's talked, right. about. So talked about. We are God's children. And mm -hmm. his desire is that we would rule this earth mm -hmm. and that we would reign in life with the influence of heaven. Amen. Right. God wants the environment of his influence, which is his government, right. and the economy of heaven to come back to earth Amen. as he originally intended, purpose, and plan from mm -hmm. the very, very beginning. beginning. Amen. God wants his heavenly kingdom 
or his heavenly government to be manifested in the earth mm -hmm. through you and I, through right. all of mankind. That's right. Exactly. And God's desire is that his kingdom government will be manifested in the hearts mm -hmm. and the mind mm -hmm. of we, his children, right. to the point that we take on his what? His culture. His culture. That's right. His nature, mm -hmm. his morals, and his values, yes. so that the culture of heaven is manifested all throughout the earth. Right. Amen. It's Amen. just that simple. Mm -hmm. So, as we've said many times before, culture is not in the land, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but instead, culture is in, in what? The, in the people, people of the land. land. In the people of the land. Mm -hmm. So, when you possess the culture of the king of heaven, you will indeed be able to manifest heaven's culture in the earth. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be, be done, done on earth, earth just like it is in heaven. And you, and you know what? Just like you said, Anisha, um, Jesus knew in order for us to be able to receive the gospel of the kingdom, we would have to change our thinking. Right. And it's, yes. it shows because the first in his first public speech, that's right. What he the first thing he said was repent. Right. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes. It's here. So he's saying, look, that word repent doesn't mean to run down to the front and confess all Come your on, sins man. to the pastor Take or the father. Time. But the word repent means to change the way you think. Jesus yes. was telling us, look, Aaron, you're going to have to change the way you're thinking because the kingdom is here now. Yeah. It's yes. here. It's at hand means it's here. Yes. So the only way you can receive it is change, change the way you think. think. You can't yeah. operate according to this world system. That's right. right. You know, right. because right. his the, the kingdom of God's gospel, his system of operation is completely different from the world system of operation. Amen. Which is, which is why if you if you just think repentance is saying that you are sorry mm -hmm. when you run down to the front of the aisle and you're remorseful for what you have done, mm -hmm. right, and you say I'm sorry. But if you have if you have not changed your thinking about what you mm -hmm. did, you're going to do the same thing again. Right. Exactly. Which is why the Bible says to be transformed by right. the renewing of your mind. That's what repent. That's what true repentance is. Right. right. To change the way you think about the situation to align your situation and circumstance to what the truth of God's word says, and then change your actions. Right. right? And that's why a lot of people don't change when they make. They, they, they go down and make those emotional confessions. Right. Right. You know? right. Exactly. Mm. Jesus. Wow. Wow. Amen. Mm. Now, for those of you who, who are joining us live today, we ask that you join the conversation. Come yes. on and join the conversation Amen. with us. All throughout this live session, we ask that you share your thoughts and questions with us. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the session, we always have an open forum. During that time, we will respond to any questions that you may have online. It's our desire that you walk away from these teachings with the knowledge yes. and the understanding that will allow you to apply what you are learning to your everyday life. Yes. And that's powerful. Yes. You, you, need the, mm -hmm. the, the, you need the knowledge, the information. Yep. And yes. not only do you need the, 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 the knowledge and the information, you need to understand that so information. Right. And then you need to apply it. That's the right. wisdom part is the application right. part of it. Yes. Right. So you need the information, which is knowledge. Mm -hmm. You need yeah. the understanding, understanding, right, which is comprehension. Right. Right. And then you need the application, which is the wisdom part. Yes. That's, right. That's the whole three. Everything is in three. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Anisha, um, Sister Cook, and Brother Cook. Amen? <laughs> That's all three. <laughs> the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. 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 So remember, in the parable of the soul, which is in the book of Matthew, chapter 13, Yeshua Jesus explains that the seed is the word of the kingdom and how the evil one is Satan. He tells how Satan comes immediately to do what? To steal the word of the kingdom when you don't understand it. He comes immediately. He doesn't understand it. Right. So that's why we constantly say, please get an understanding. Please don't leave this session today without having a thorough understanding of everything that we discuss. So please join the conversation, as I said earlier. Type in your questions or comments in the comments section, and we have a team of people who will be able to share them with us. Yeah. Also, if you don't mind, hit the like and share buttons while you're here. Share this message with others who may want to learn more about the kingdom 
It is for those who choose. It Amen. It is for those Amen. who choose. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, before we move into our lesson today, let's officially open our session in prayer. Amen. 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 And ask Anisha to lead us in prayer today. Anisha. Amen. 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 And you pray along with us as Amen. well at home. Amen. Father, it is in the name of Jesus yes. mm -hmm. that we come before you, Father, first and always giving you thanks, honoring and glorifying your holy and everlasting name. Yes. We thank you for being our father. We thank you for being our Lord, our owner. We thank you for being our king. We thank you for choosing us yes. to be your sons. We thank Amen. you for allowing us to be in this earth during this day and time, Lord God. We know that we are here now for a purpose and a reason, Lord. And we yes. pray that the purposes that you have for each and every one of our lives is manifested yes. and that in everything that we do that you be glorified Amen. Yes. Amen. lord we thank you right now for this time that we're able to sit and talk to your people about your word about your constitution about the country called heaven yes. about your will your intent and your desire for this mm -hmm. earth and every single person on it lord we pray that the people that are watching will be receptive we pray that you would would turn up the soil of their hearts, Lord God, so that the seed can be planted yes. and fertile ground and that it will take root yes. and that it will grow inside of their lives, Lord God. And they will be able, they will begin to see the manifestation of a greater government at work in their lives, Lord Amen. God. Lord, we thank you right now for this time. We thank you even for your presence being here because you said where two or three yes. are gathered Amen. together yes. in your name, yes. you would be there in the midst. Yes. And we also carry your spirit the whole country of heaven yes. inside of us Amen. because you have cleaned us up so that we could be filled and end well with your Holy Spirit, yes. Lord God. Yes. Lord God, we thank you right now thank for you, every word that is going to go forth. Yes. We thank you for your spirit that is going to speak through the teacher of today, Lord yes. God. We thank you for clarity of thought, Lord God, and we pray that people will hear it and will be able to understand it, Lord God, so that they can apply it to their everyday lives. Yes. We thank you for the lives that are being changed because of their because of this ministry and we pray that in everything that we do that we will glorify you lord god yes. for it's not for us it's yes. not for us to be put on the scene or yes, to be lord. lifted up or boasted up lord god yes. but everything that we do we do it for you lord god yes, lord. so that you will be glorified yes. so we pray that as people watch this that they don't even yes. see us yes. but they see you that lord they see you. your spirit that yes. they see the country and the culture of the kingdom of heaven yes. through the screens, Lord God. And we pray that they will even be able to feel it and experience it, Lord yes. God. So we thank you. Thank you. We honor you. Yes. We bless you. And yes. we glorify you. And it's in Jesus' precious yes. holy Jesus. name we pray. Amen. 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 So this week Amen. we're going to move directly into our new content because we did all of our reviewing on last week. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But I want to take my time today with this because, and I also encourage you, if, if this is your first time watching these teachings, mm -hmm. I encourage you to go back mm -hmm. and review the lessons before because some of this may not make sense to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And our desire is that you have understanding. So for those of you that have been following us, mm -hmm. prayerfully, the, the, the knowledge is beginning to connect yeah. and yeah. transformation is occurring in your life. Amen. Yes, amen. So once again, we're going to move directly into our new content on the principle of kingdom culture, mm -hmm. you know? So I want to start by saying, once you understand the culture of a people, you understand the people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Once yeah. you understand the culture mm -hmm. of the people, mm -hmm. you understand the people. That's a, that's a mouthful right there. It, it is. If you understand the culture of the people, yes. you understand, you understand the, people. the people. Yeah. So, you know, one of the examples, I'll just, you know, I'll just share this really quickly, you know, that he talks about in this book is um, he uses the example of Pearl Harbor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. When the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, they basically, mm -hmm. it was like a suicide mission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because it was an honor for the Japanese right. to, 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 to do what they did. You know, it's just like today, suicide bombers, mm -hmm. they believe it is an honor mm -hmm. for them to do what they do. Right. So that's their culture. Mm -hmm. right. We don't understand that. We can't understand 
killing yourself for what you believe in. Right. right. But there are many cultures that do. Mm -hmm. So when you understand the culture of a people, you understand the, the people. people. Right. Everything that makes mm. a nation a nation and a people a people is wrapped up in their culture. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. When a kingdom colonizes a foreign territory, mm. the manifestation of that kingdom's culture is the ultimate evidence of the kingdom's impact and influence in that foreign territory mm. or colony. We're going to mm -hmm. use that word colony a lot today in colonization. Mm -hmm. And your history buffs out there will understand what the whole concept of colonization is all about. Right. right. Amen. So, for example, mm -hmm. um, if you look at the, the countries in the continent of Africa and you look at the Caribbean nations, mm -hmm. most of these territories were colonized by European yeah, nations. Yeah. Right. 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 And although almost all of them today are independent from the colonial rule, mm -hmm. the influences of that culture of the former countries or kingdoms are still very prevalent mm -hmm. in those foreign territories. Mm -hmm. For example, if you travel to Cuba, it's going to be very evident that they were once colonized by the kingdom of Spain, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Right. From the building architecture to the cuisines, yeah. right. to the language of the people, right. the influences of Spain still reside in that territory. Right. 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 If you look at the Dominican Republic, this is, and this is a, this is a, um, this is a really, it's not strange, but it's a unique situation. If you look at the Dominican Republic, Republic, the land mass, that, uh, that it occupies is the exact same island and country. I mean, it's the same, it's the same landmass that houses the country of Haiti. Yes, it it's is. an island uh -huh. split down the middle. Yes. One side is Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. yes. one side is Haiti. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yet the culture of both countries is very different. different. Yes. Right? Yes. right? Yes. The same landmass, mm -hmm. you know, if you, it's, even if you look at it on the map, mm -hmm. if you look at it on a, like a, a yeah. satellite map, mm -hmm. one side looks very dark, mm -hmm. yes. the other side looks very bright. And yes. there's a whole historical reason why it is the way it is without mm -hmm. going into a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. right. But the Dominican Republic was once colonized by Spain. Right. right? And the people were Spanish speaking. Right. Mm -hmm. Haiti on the same landmass was colonized by the French. Right. Mm -hmm. And so they are French speaking yeah. nations right. today. Yes. Yeah. You know, one, um, so although the Dominican Republic and Haiti share the same landmass, mm -hmm. their colonial histories and cultures are very different. Right. Yes. And, that, and you know what, and that's true because I could take an American baby mm -hmm. and take mm -hmm. that baby over to China mm -hmm. and leave that baby over there from a three month year old baby yes. to like, a five or six year old uh, a child. Mm -hmm. That child is going to be speaking Chinese. That's right. Yeah. Why? Because he's they coming up in culture. the Chinese exactly. culture. Exactly. And vice versa. So I, you know, and I won't mention the name, but you know, we know a, a person who was she's, she's a grown woman now, mm -hmm. but she was born in another country, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you know, when she was a, a very young age, she right. was brought to the United States, right? right. Mm -hmm. So. Although she was born in that other country, mm -hmm. she's a grown person now. She knows nothing about the culture. Right. Right. She knows nothing about the language. The only thing she knows is the American culture because that's what she grew up right. in. Right. Right. So culture is strong. Mm -hmm. It's yes. very strong. So anyway, strong. a kingdom, Wow. When, when we talk about this, think about the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. and, and God's government manifested on the earth. A kingdom is not successful in colonizing a territory until the culture mm. is manifested in the territory. Wow. wow. Which is why God's position has not changed. Right. Wow. He's going to continue to do what's required to be done mm -hmm. until heaven is manifested on this earth. Yes, culture wow. is stronger than politics and it's more powerful than religion. Our Heavenly Father, Jehovah, Elohim God, the mm -hmm. self existing one, on. the creator of the heavens and earth, mm -hmm. who created the entire universe. Mm -hmm. Heaven is the original invisible country of Jehovah. Same. Yes. Same. Okay? Yeah. Heaven is the original invisible country of Jehovah. Mm -hmm. God, right. Elohim, Adonai, whatever, you know, his, mm -hmm. his many attributes. We're talking about Jehovah God, the self-existing one. Yeah. He, it, 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 heaven is the center of his power mm -hmm. or the seat of his power. Mm -hmm. It's where his throne is. Yes. It's where the throne of the most high God. When we mm -hmm. talk about 
El Elyon, the most high God, mm -hmm. the seat of his throne is in the invisible country of heaven. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yeah. As the Bible says, our father who's where? In heaven. In heaven. Doesn't say he's on earth. Nope. Right. He's in, he's in heaven. Holy is your name. Mm -hmm. And as we said many times before, heaven is a real place. Right. It's not a future place. It's mm -hmm. not a class place. It is a place that exists today. Right. Yes. It is a country. Right. It is a divine, invisible, supernatural nation or country. Right. It's a country. It is. Which is why, and so for those of you that are trying to listen to this with a religious mm -hmm. mindset, you're mm -hmm. not going to get this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You've got to get out of your religious thinking right. because what we're talking about is not religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a country mm -hmm. and a government. Yes. And yeah. that country is called heaven. And what we're talking about is truth. Amen. Yes, amen. Because uh, we're here, but this country that we see here came <coughs> from man. That's exactly. right. Because That's right. That, that heaven was, some people said, was preeminent. Mm -hmm. yes. That means it was before. <laughs> that's right. Before the earth. Right. You know? And that's why, and you know it was before the earth because when God created, created this colony of earth, this colony of earth was supposed to be a mere reflection that's of heaven. heaven. That's, that's right. right. That's so right. somebody has to be first. Exactly. You know, if you're a mere reflection. So heaven had to be first before the earth. Right. If we were a mirror of it, yes. right. it had to be first before us. So Elohim God, the creator of all things in the universe, is king over that country. He's the king of heaven. Right. Although he's the Lord of heaven and earth, mm -hmm. which means he owns heaven and earth. Right. Mm -hmm. He's the king, king. of heaven. Right. Yes. Okay. The invisible country of heaven is called the kingdom of heaven, because Jehovah God is king over that country. And the form of government that governs the affairs of the country of heaven mm -hmm. is a kingdom government. Amen. Right. Once again, like I said, if you're listening to this with a religious mm -hmm. mindset, you're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't understand this, you are not getting the full extent of what the Bible teaches. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Especially the message of Jesus Christ, because mm -hmm. that's the only message he taught was Amen. The, kingdom the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. kingdom of heaven. So as we've previously studied, uh -huh. God's yeah. original idea was to extend that invisible country, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. That invisible countries or the kingdom, that kingdom's influence on this yeah, physical sure. earth. Right. Yes. God wanted to colonize earth with heaven's culture, right. Right. heaven's government, yes. heaven's nature, mm -hmm. so that you would see heaven manifested on, on this earth. earth. That's right. God's desire was celestial, mm -hmm. which means invisible or mm -hmm. heavenly expansion. Mm -hmm. yeah. He wanted the invisible realm of heaven to be extended to the physical realm mm -hmm. called earth. Right. Amen. As you say, mm -hmm. what the celestial colonization mm -hmm. of the terrestrial. Amen. And terra means dirt, dust. Amen. Right. That's who we are. That's what we are. Dust. This Amen. physical earth. So God lives in the celestial realm and he wanted to extend his influence into the terrestrial, which means physical or mm -hmm. earthly realm. God's desire at creation was mm -hmm. to expand mm -hmm. his glory. Mm -hmm. And glory doesn't mean to clap your hands. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean to shout, give him glory. Hallelujah. Glory means his true essence. Yes. yes. His full way. Yes. Yes. His true yes. nature. Yes. His culture and his values. Yes. Amen. Amen. God's desire at creation was to expand his glory, which is his mm -hmm. nature, his the true essence of who he is, yes. the yes. full yes. weight of who he is, his mm -hmm. true nature, his mm -hmm. culture. And his values to the earth through the earthly agents mm -hmm. are which are who? Us. Us. Let me just get this one. That what we just did was praise. That, that's yes. right. That's not God. glory. That's, that's not, glory. not glory. That's praise. When you say hallelujah. And we should praise God every Amen. day, every minute, yes. every second, every hour yes. that we can. Yes. We ought to praise him because God is great. And he is greatly to, to be, be praised, praised. all the time. And at all costs, we should praise him. But we just want to show you the difference. Yeah, right. that yeah. That's praise. And what Sister Cook is talking about is glory. is glory. So glory is not smoke and mirrors. Mm -hmm. It's not a spooky thing. Right. When he t we talk about glorifying God, it means to reflect yes. his awesomeness. His awesomeness. Yes. His true nature, the true right. essence of who he is. His, his weightiness. weightiness. His you know, that means that there's 
nothing impossible to him. There's nothing too hard for him. Yes. Because he's God. He's the creator of yes. everything. Yes. Yes. He's the creator of all flesh. Mm -hmm. Nothing is too hard for him. Yeah. Like you always say, mm -hmm. if God said there's going to be elephants on that wall, you yes. might as well get ready for the elephants. There's That's nothing. True. When he speaks it, right. it becomes. It comes. Right. Which is exactly. why he doesn't speak a lot of words. That's right. Because yeah. where his word goes, there's what? An investment. That's right. That exactly. has to be manifested. And you yes. know what? And one of his names is is El Shaddai. Amen. That means he's the many-breasted right. one. And he's more than enough God to deliver us or help us yes. out of any situation or yes. circumstance Amen. or condition that we're in. Amen. He's more than enough. Amen. Matter of fact, he's posed a question. He said, Anissa, is there anything too hard for me, no. for God? That's what the Bible says. Is there anything Not too hard, hard for God? God? That's right. And we know the answer is what? And no. oh, no. There's nothing too Not hard one for one thing. Him. Which is why... Faith is important because yes. when you the faith is your is, is, is faith is not a, a spooky religious term. Mm -hmm. It just means to trust God right. that you can trust Him because He's a God mm -hmm. of integrity right. and what He says mm -hmm. He's going to do. Yes. And, and it, there's nothing too hard or impossible to Him. So if you trust that, mm -hmm. then then you you know that's what He wants you to right. do. But if right. you doubt that, mm -hmm. He tells you that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. ways. And don't think that man is going to receive anything right. from God. Right. Right. Amen. So once again, mm -hmm. glory mm -hmm. is the true essence and the full weight of a thing. Mm -hmm. So God's desire at creation, once again, was to expand his glory, mm -hmm. which means his true essence, his full weight, yes. right. his true nature, mm -hmm. his culture, and his values to the earth through his eight earthly agents, mm -hmm. his children, right. yes. you and I, mm -hmm. which are called mankind. mankind. Yes. So all kingdoms expand. And when they expand, it is called colonization. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just like in, in history. So you look at the United States, you know, even though it was Europeans that came over, mm -hmm. they, they chose not to colonize. Mm -hmm. right. they, they didn't want to have uh, the European culture reflected in, in the United States. So mm -hmm. you see, for example, if you go to European nations, they drive what? On the left side of the mm -hmm. road, we mm -hmm. drive on the right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you talk about our language, which is an English language, when you compare our language to that of the European, London, for example, the United mm -hmm. Kingdom, there's the King's English and mm -hmm. then there's U.S. English. Mm -hmm. So although they are alike, they're very, they're, they're yeah, differences yeah, right. as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, like know. where their words have an S, like realize, mm -hmm. you know, right. ours is spelled with an S, theirs mm -hmm. is spelled with a Z. Right. So there's, so they didn't, comp they didn't, they didn't colonize the United States mm -hmm. like they did with other countries. Right. Amen. So the earth was created by God for the simple purpose of expansion and colonization. Mm -hmm. God's motivation for creating the earth and mankind was expansion. Right. right. Kingdoms expand. Mm -hmm. Mankind was created by God for the purpose of expanding his kingdom on the earth. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. By becoming a colony of heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. So in essence, Adam was given rulership over over earth for God's expansion program. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why mankind was put here. Mm -hmm. This was God's expansion program. He put mankind here. God wanted